HP, thinkers are great, but doers change the world. Sometimes power can be generated in the most surprising places. Israel is a country with few natural resources, but these innovators are tapping into the mechanical energy generated by the traffic on the highways and trains on the railways. Innovatec achieved a breakthrough in the alternative energy field. Dr. Lucy Edere Azule is CEO of Innovatec, a company born from research at Israel's Technion Institute in 2007. We can convert mechanical energy into electrical energy. We embedded this precursor. The breakthrough Dr. Edere is describing is a whole new application for piezoelectric materials. It's a very familiar material. Everyone know them, everyone actually use them at home. Digital watches use piezoelectricity, as do cigarette lighters. If you press on your light to, to light a cigarette, for example, so you press on it, it generates electricity and it makes the spark. Piezoelectricity is generated when mechanical pressure is applied to certain crystals and ceramics. When put under pressure and squeezed, these materials generate high-voltage electricity, similar to static electricity. People have been using piezoelectric materials for a long time. Originally, Dr. Abramovich, in a Watex finder, was interested in using them for medical devices. But then he decided to scale everything up. We switch from micro to macro. We have a machine. Taking piezoelectrical devices from micro to macro meant constructing big disc-like generators. The plan was to install them under highways where the discs would be compressed repeatedly by the weight of passing traffic and generate a usable electrical charge. The idea met with some resistance on the part of the local authorities. We showed them that if you succeed in uh, producing electricity besides not damaging the road, this is a very good uh, thing for them. Tests conducted by Inuatec indicate that all the traffic does produce a useful amount of energy that can be fed into the grid. When cars are passing over the generators, they produce electricity. The faster the cars will pass over the generator, the more energy that we can produce. If we have 600 trucks uh, traveling along one kilometer, we'll produce each hour 200 kilowatt. 200 kilowatts will provide enough electricity to power 150 to 200 houses per hour. And of course, the heavier the traffic, the better. In Awatek have been conducting tests on railway lines where the weights of the trains could potentially generate a lot of electricity. Whether a busy railroad junction or a huge freeway system, the greater the volume and density of the traffic, the more power is generated. Dr. Edere is confident that Innovatec's device can be used worldwide. Actually, Innovatec is the first company in the world that uh, produces a huge amount of electricity based on the piezoelectric materials. The technology fits into existing infrastructure, doesn't require land and doesn't depend on the weather like other clean energy sources. Not to mention the fact that it generates the most electricity when demand is highest during the rush hour. I believe that in a few years we will see many power stations, little power stations all over the world that are based on Innovatec technology. Innovatec will put its technology into practice this year. The company was recently awarded a 2 million euro contract to install piezoelectric generators on a highway in northern Italy. The power will be used to run the roadside message system. The transition to clean energy sources and new, smarter ways of consuming energy is already underway. We are shifting to a low-carbon energy system at the heart of a low-carbon economy, and it has profound implications across essentially all industries. Many countries increasingly have a real economic incentive to harness renewable energy sources and to reduce their dependence on fossil fuels. 
As costs become competitive, the innovators who find new ways to harness clean energy will be pioneers in what may be one of the most dynamic new industries of the 21st century. I'm Andrea Catherwood. Thanks for watching.